Well, you can't begrudge him a win like that, can you? The uh, good old Navy Blues there. I just wonder whether once all the restrictions and we get back to some normality, whether they might just stick to standing there and clapping as opposed to linking arms. What's interesting, though, they stand away from each other, but when it's all over, they start <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> hugging each other. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, it was a great win. In fact, uh, Damo, this was the first time Carlton has won at Cadinia Park since, what, round 20, 1996 or yeah, something? Yeah, it goes fact, way back to that. And look at some of these rattles. famous Blues players. Yeah, they're all-time great Blues players. You would have been playing in this game, I reckon, Bill. You were certainly still on the Geelong list. I think I Brent Heaver. Seven. <laughs> Yeah, no. yeah, how good were the Blues? Delulio. Delulio. <laughs> Won the Premiership the year before Ray, the Blues. Craig yeah. Bradley, two names. Ronnie Deulio. Yeah. Fraser Brown. Is. Look at that at the old Cadinia Park. That yeah. were the days. They certainly the were. It was, a, it was a great win oh. then, and it was a great win last night as we check the scores before we meet our very special guest. Take us through it, Bill. Well, it was all Carlton earlier. They, they were outstanding. Played really uh, good footy. They deserved to win this game. But at uh, three-quarter time, they led by about six goals. And in the last quarter, the Cats kicked five goals for Carlton got one behind, so the Cats were coming. But to be honest, didn't deserve to win uh, because this man here, Levi Casbolt, was outstanding. Well done, big fella. Your great game last night and a great win. Yeah, thank you. And that was good to get our first one on the board for the year and play well in it, so... Did you address the slow starts? Because you certainly fixed it up last night. Quarter time, Carlton 5-3, Geelong 1-2. Um, yeah, yeah, it was definitely an issue we'd been looking at um, the first two rounds oh, of the year. We'd, um, our first quarter was very slow and then um, we were able to sort of fight our way back into the game from then. So we thought if we could start well, we'd give ourselves a better opportunity. Do you talk about the ground, the different shaped ground or, or anything like that also? Yeah, yeah. We, um, it's something we looked at during the week. Um, we know that they play the ground really well. They've, um, what do they train there? And they adapted the skinny ground. So we had to, um, we just talked about the way we could move the ball and then also the way we could defend as well. The pressure from your forward line too. It's been a criticism of Carlton in recent times, not being able to hold the ball in that forward line. And we're going to chat about Eddie Betts later, but he was instrumental early on in that game with locking that ball inside forward 50. Yeah, it was a real focus for us to um, get the ball in our half and try and keep it there. So it's a, it's a team effort, but it's the forward putting the pressure on um, and getting jack kicks out so the defenders can set up well and... Um, hopefully intercept and get it coming back our way. Levi, we're just watching Geelong storming home, five goals to zero in the last quarter. It didn't appear like he could do anything to wrestle the momentum. What was the discussion like on field? Uh, we were just trying to stick to our focuses. Uh, I mean, I think we, we probably went away from what we were doing in the first three quarters that really worked for us um, by offensively moving, changing angles with the ball and um, not letting their defence get set. Um, and we just started jacking it down the line. And then um, we just got numbers behind the ball, which just allowed them to get repeat entry. So it was, it was really good learning for us, um, especially to come out with the win. I mean, to be that far up and lose would have been very devastating. So to um, to for them to cut, like they're a good side and they came hard at us and we're able to hang on and there's some good learning that we'd probably do differently next time. But, um, you know, we came away with four points in our first win of the year, which was really good. And, Levi, the fact you were able to hang on, as you just said there yourself, was largely due, wasn't it, to, to Eddie Betts's, um form in that last quarter. I know he kicked the two goals, but the, the passage of play late in the, the game where he uh, laid a tackle and ultimately ended up with the ball in his hand on the side. And uh, it must have been a, a pretty special moment to have him back at the club and to then have that uh, role in that win. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, Eddie, he's pretty good shown. He loves the game for big moments. And, um, he, just, he always just puts himself in positions to be able to impact. And um, yeah, has been playing on the string. And he, once again, in position to impact. And yeah, definitely, um, I don't know, won us the game. They were, they were coming hard and another 30 seconds, who knows what happens. But we get control of the ball and it's all she wrote. Levi, I say this with the greatest respect to you, but uh, your, your kicking, I thought, had you in big trouble in the game because I thought if you, if you can't kick those shots that you were missing and the technique you had, you're in serious trouble. So mm. well, now I yeah. expect you to go back and kick the goals. It's been an amazing turnaround. It doesn't often happen at AFL level because you've been kicking a certain way as a kid for 10 to 12 years. So, uh, Sav Rocker, yourself, talk us through how you've been able to turn that around over a number of years. 
yeah, yeah. Um, just, I guess, a lot of work, kicking a lot of footies, um, <laughs> mindset. Um, and I guess one thing that I probably always have um, had is I, I don't really shy away from still wanting to kick, even when um, I wasn't kicking great. I didn't then not want the ball, so I still wanted to have those shots. And um, I now I've got a good understanding of my action and what works for me and um, at training and during games. As soon as I kick it, I know um, what I've done well and what I've done wrong. And um, it's about, you know, as you said, you, you kick, um, you go 10, 12 years as a junior kicking a certain way and then um, it's hard to change that. So it's changing little things um, and minimising the margin for error, which I'll, um, you know, working with Sav, he, he was really good for that. Um, he understands my kick and um, he he was really good at picking up those little things and not trying to change big technical things, but just minimising the um, margin for error. Uh, Levi, just a quick one before I let you go. Um, you're due to play Essendon next weekend. Even Gil McLaughlin says there's no guarantees that match will go ahead because of the latest COVID scare. <clears throat> Pardon me. What, what's your mindset at the moment at the club? Uh, I mean, very early in the piece, I guess, but are you just thinking to yourself, OK, let's just plan as if we are playing or is it thing in the back of your mind that who knows no nah, 100% we're planning to play um, you know you plan to play until told otherwise otherwise you you're on the back foot and you've lost and uh, you know if we wait till Monday there's two days of recovery that you might not have done or whatever it is um, so um, yeah we're planning to play and has that already yep. been expressed by by the coach or whoever um, I can't remember. Well, I think we might have spoken about it last night, but <laughs> <laughs> he's had a few frothies, Levi, after a huge game last night. Well done, Levi. Thanks for joining us. I've got the votes here: Dangerfield, Selwood, all outstanding. No, all cult. No, they were very good, weren't they? So Eddie Bats, Cripsy, he is a star. What about Weedering's fault? Weedering has been great this year. Yeah. Really good. And big Levi there. He took nine marks, five contested, mm. big big clunks. So well done to Levi, who's light switches. See, they run even. That annoys me when I see that. <laughs> well, given yours has rarely turned on, Bill, I'm surprised that you would actually notice that. We're going to take a break on the Sunday footy. Oh, okay. oh, oh there he goes. Not not no, it's just the angle of the camera. They're not bloody even. That annoys me. <laughs> no, they're fine. They're fine. Don't worry. Levi, good on you, Levi. You've got good light switches, mate. <laughs>